Calm yourself. I mean, you're not making big movements, but you know, your heart's racing, you're breathing a little heavy. Like, it's uh, this is a lot to this. There's a lot to this. You can't discount it. The rifles aren't going to do all the work for you, no matter how much money you spend on them. So, like, it's like almost overwhelming how much you need to do when you're up there. Yeah, it's, there's a lot to do and not a lot of time. Yeah, it's like overwhelming. <laughs> That is going to be a tough performance to follow up. Yeah. What do you think of that, James? That was impressive. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> ain't nothing to do but just to get out there and do it, right? There you go, buddy. R1 and target R2. This is what a stage break is. Okay, we're gonna go do the range brief. My GoPros are dead, so we'll see how I video this with the phone and see how you guys can hear. Pretty windy out here today. We're gonna get through this range brief and then we'll get back with you guys once we get to the firing line. So wish me luck, first match ever. Okay, so the range brief is all done. We are out here getting kind of familiar with our individual stages. We're starting on stage five, James and I are, and uh, just kind of ranging the targets and getting the game plan together. So, You'll probably just see us once we get shooting, so. 437. Spotters up! Yep. Spotters up! Stand by! And you say yes. Okay, load and make ready. Take your mag you take your tanker flag out. Put your mag in. Both stages. Shooter ready. Shooter ready. You say yes. Impact! And the RO watches you and make sure you don't get any stupid. Remember, yell it out loud. With your bolt open. Impact! Impact! He's having a good stage so far. Impact! 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 I saw that you centered up though. Yeah, that is Nice shooting, man. Not a single miss, dude. Good job. Yeah, that's windy. It's yeah. Than you think of, yeah. <laughs> 
that is going to be a tough performance to follow up. Yeah. What do you think of that, James? That was impressive. Yeah. All right. Well, ain't nothing to do but just to get out there and do it, right? James is up. There you go, buddy. Larry, uh, Larry's on deck. I'm in the hole. Wow. That was good. Stand by. Impact. 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 For three. All right, so I got that stage in the books. These distances are stuff that I consider chip shots back at the farm, but this is completely different. This is completely different. So, all right, my turn to be on glass. Here we go. Impact. Wow, I can see that last one really good. Yeah, I, can see the trace. I can see the trace just. Yeah. Okay, so this being my first match, I'm just, I'm just watching everybody, seeing what they're doing to get prepared, to get prepared for the next stage. So, just trying to absorb as much information as I can out here. I got a, I got some good shooters in our our squad today so i got plenty of good people to watch so all right i'm gonna get out there and start helping these guys copy what they're doing and get ready for the next stage so see you on stage six is that it? Yeah. audibly say it so i can hear you i got you yep. okay stand by
Impact. All right, so I finished that stage. The stage that we just got off of um, had a 640 yard target, and then it had a 350 and a 390. So the, the 350 and the 390, I had no problems hitting, but that 600 yarder, that was, uh, that was a bit tricky. We had a guy in our squad that nailed it three times in a row. That's, uh, it's a pretty tall order, I think, with the wind that we're experiencing out here today. So good for him. I'll get more footage of him and his runs uh, a little bit later. Make sure that I get a chance to videotape that. This is all a learning experience, and man, I'm having a blast. If you guys have ever thought about coming out and doing a PRS match, I would highly suggest it. Highly suggest it. On to stage, stage seven. It's the third stage that we've done today. Stage seven, so. And I'm up first, so wish me luck. I got some prep work to do, so. Lost here. Stand by. <laughs> Impact! that I noticed was it seems like on those long targets you want to you want to stay with the target in your sight picture for just that extra split second so you can like see and measure your impact right like if you missed because like 
when you fell off on the right side that first time, I felt like you must have you must have seen oh, yeah. that. Yeah. You definitely have a much easier time seeing that plate swing. Than... Yeah. You always want to see everything, your spots, your misses, and your hits. So you I've never run target really. This is the first time I've ever run target this guy. Yeah. 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 It seems a lot less smoky than before. Oh, we really yeah. have to. I love H4350. Target's a perfect. Yeah. Hotter. Yeah, that's what I use in my dasher is Varget. Yeah, but guys yeah. love it, and that, that caliber he's shooting is Varget, the cam. Yeah, right? so the dasher. Yeah, dasher class. Yeah, everybody loves Varget for that. Yeah. Okay, so that's a wrap on stage seven. So it's the third stage that we've shot today. Moving uh, on to stage eight. Maybe, maybe I'll just fly the Denver. Which this ought to be fun. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my dope and everything and collect the yardage for this one and go from there. I didn't get any footage of me running the last stage, but I it only made three attacks um, out of the nine that I shot at. So that's a bit of a rocky stage for me, but... Hey, you know, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm just happy to be out here doing this. So. All right. See you guys on the next stage. Impact. 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 Got you for five, sir. Oh boy. Not bad. Ugh. That's tough. You should go to a pro match sometime. You'll see what's coming. Yeah. So did it get harder for you, Derek? As you Goodness. So did it get harder for you position wise as you Yeah, I noticed some I get more and more unsteady just yeah. now I know I'm coming up against the time so I gotta I gotta be cognizant of that and then I rush my shots and stuff so cautious misses but oh well. It's fun. So the last stage I felt pretty good about that. I gotta practice that more often. I think my biggest thing is movement getting getting to the final position to make those shots and i didn't realize how tough it was going to be to to calm yourself I mean, you're not making big movements but you know your heart's racing you're breathing a little heavy like it's uh there's there's a lot to this there's a lot to this you can't discount it the rifles aren't going to do all the work for you no matter how much money you spend on them so all right stage one this will be our fifth stage of the day. Three targets at a thousand yards. Let's see how we do. 
I, how do you feel about this next stage after finishing that last one? Well, I feel the last stage went well, but three targets at a thousand yards with you know, eight. Not great. <laughs> at least the positions look respectable. So I don't even know where the thousand yarder is. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go. We can go find it. But um, if, if I can hit two or three of them, that'll be a win for me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Metal. Oh, they're I see right, it now. Right. Yep. Nice. Thank you. If you want to shoot one, yes. 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 Impact. How quick did I out of time? Where was I out of time? Uh, when you moved to the third, you were yeah. out of time. Dude, that bipod, man. Oh, that's a two. Such a bummer. What happened? The bipod was too wide for. Oh yeah. For the bench. And I got two. Yeah. All right. Happy with that. All right, so a little recap after shooting at a thousand yards. I, given my experience at a thousand yards, I would have expected to do a little bit better, but there was there's some hiccups that I worked through with the bipod there on uh, position number two. Um, I felt really strongly about that. Like I was, I was spotting my misses. I was, you know, making good corrections. Um, just just wasn't making any uh, connections really. I, I ended up walking away with two, uh, which I think is pretty strong for the day. Uh, I've heard that there's some other people out here that maybe have six. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, one of the guys in our squad got four, so good for him. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun, real challenging, real challenging. If you think you can do this stuff, just get up here and give it a try, because it is, it is tough. It is tough, especially to compete with the best of them, so. All right, and on to stage two. This will be our sixth stage of the day. So after this one, we've only got two more, and then we're done. So.
wrapped up stage two, which was our sixth stage of the day. So we have two more to go. My GoPros had died this morning, so we didn't have any, uh, any way to film this other than through the camera on my iPhone. So uh, the production value of this video is gonna be pretty low, but I'll still put it out the last stage that I shot. I'll put it in this video, but the person recording ended up recording it vertically. So it's not in the correct format, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. We'll make it work. So, um, anyways, so you'll see stage two come up, um, next and yeah, I think I did pretty good through that one. Pretty happy with my performance again, out to the thousand yards, just kind of fell off a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, I shoot at a thousand all the time. So any of these issues I'm having today at a thousand, I can get cleaned right up at the farm next week. So um, super confident with that. Super happy with my performance so far I mean, for the first match that I've ever attended. I mean, pretty happy with the way it's going. So, all right, we'll see you guys on the next stage. This is our next stage, the barricade. It'll be... Uh, 412 yards, two eight inch targets, target R1 and target R2. And this is what a stage briefing looks like. And that's what's next. Wish me luck. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Impact. 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 Not picking your time up. Get on social media and just beat. I, I love you though. Four seconds, five seconds. So 85. Not bad. Not fucking bad. Not bad. Not bad. You changed the barricade this year. Everybody's been older. Yeah. So you got eight impacts in 90, 85 seconds. Eight, eight impacts in 85 seconds. Pretty pretty awesome. Day. Yeah. Okay. I was struggling on that second one until I until I realized uh, 
I was holding uh, low, and the second one was the one that I held high. You guys want to do like, you see you go out like, you run that last shot go on the right end, you just kissed it. So oh, really? Steady, just rushing. Yeah, that was just, I was just rushing. We come over like this, and it, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I'm right up against the top, so. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to fuck you up, but I was getting serious, so I was trying to pick up your last shot, yeah, you know? Yeah, I got you, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> So I thought I laid out a pretty good, pretty good run right here, and just to put it into context, um, I'm, I was ecstatic with my performance, and he shot the same, and he was not very happy with his performance. So that's uh, this is a fun, this is a fun one. I'll have to build one of these for the farm. Yeah, but these guys are freaking good shooters, man. Uh, poor performance for them is. You know, the same performance that I'm ecstatic about. So, <laughs> anyways, yeah. all right. I'll probably film one more person here at this stage, then we'll take you guys over to the next one. All right. This guy's going to do good. Yeah. Well, we're rooting for him, anyways. Let's see how he does. Fire. Are you ready? Stand by. Yeah, he has like. We have to go to the. We do a three-gun match. Impact. Impact. <laughs> Impact! 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 There he goes. He's right up against it on time. He can do it. Impact! Impact! Good job, man. Thank you, bro. 80.43 clean. Where do you think that stands with everybody today? Not bad. 25% of people clean. Yeah, yeah, 25% of people clean. Probably a little slow on time. Okay, gotcha. Is is this a, a stage that scored like time and yes. points? Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's probably slow on time. That's probably, you'll see people probably around yeah. 60, 65, 70. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like I think 60? 
I bet you'll see a couple. You know. steady, steady. I got Clean? I don't know. Maybe. I bet you won't. There won't be like a lot. Yeah. I bet you'll see one or two of them. You know. There you go, dude. So you're up. I've always been a slow barricade shooter anyway. Oh, yeah. Get the points. Yeah, I've the old one, I was always right around like 50 seconds, 55. Like, I was always. Yeah, I was about 58. Yeah, I was always slow. I wanted the points. You're pretty tall, dog. Yeah, <laughs> ah, that was a pretty impressive run. Pretty fun to watch that one. So, we've got uh, one more shooter in our squad, and then we're going to move on to our very last stage tires and stuff going on over there so once we get over there we'll talk about it and then we'll shoot it a lot of wind here on our last stage but we're gonna make the best of it it's his turn to shoot first he's pretty good so we'll see what he does we'll see how he performs but all right wish us all luck wish us all luck all right here we go tires fence yeah gonna be fun so I've just been learning from these guys that can beat PRS a lot. So I just figure I copy whatever they do. So I just put the bag back there. I think that's how you're how you end up shooting well. Oh, he's got something else going on. He's got another bag that he's going to use. Interesting. I'll be curious to see how this goes. Dialed in now. Time. Those first two are paying a huh? Impact.
Impact. No. Four. Four. I'll take it. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot of wobble. That is a lot. I didn't expect that. It would, I, you're just saying it's bad, and I'm thinking, I mean, how bad could it be? But it's, it's for me, for me, it was one mil. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was at least I was over the target and under the target. And I was trying to break the shot when I come onto the target. Yeah. I, that's what I was doing. For for me, I was. Uh, I was trying to free recoil everything, try to yeah. stay off the gun and yep. pinch with this hand. Yep. But, I mean, it's still just, ooh, ooh. Yep. that was a lot. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys made this match for us. My very first shooting match. Really cool. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Hopefully we'll see you again. All right, everybody. So that is a, that's a wrap for Granby this time. We were, uh, we were shooting up there. Got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee with me. Man, this was a really good time. I, the people were phenomenal. If you've ever thought about coming out and shooting a PRS match, just do it. Just do it. Bring whatever rifle you got. Just show up. These guys are willing to teach you everything you need to know. And our squad was super friendly. Everybody was willing to help you out. And honestly, I had a great time. I don't even care how many points I got, how many points I missed. You know, I I just had a really good time. James and I, we're, uh, we're on our way back now to Maine but uh I think the match went really well what are your thoughts yeah as expected learning lesson lots yeah. of uh lots of misses lots of impacts. yep so yeah well I had a blast I had a super fun time yeah yeah and uh I was um you know I came into this thinking that the the best way to approach this is just like you don't know anything because these guys, they've been doing this for years. And like Andrew and our squad, just, dude, that guy was like a lights out shooter. He was really good. And then uh, the other dude, I can't remember his name. Uh, Joe. Joe maybe, yeah, could have been Joe. Um, he was he was super good. They were all super helpful, willing to share any information that they had gotten from the stage with us to help us make impacts. Wind calling was something that just went completely over my head today. So I just kind of went with whatever the Kestrel said and whatever Andrew thought. So yeah, but man, there's a lot to it, dude. Like it's like almost overwhelming how much you need to do right. when you're up there. Yeah, it's, there's a lot to do and not a lot of time. Yeah, it's like overwhelming. And if, if you don't know exactly <laughs> what you're doing, you're, you're gonna miss. Yeah. So or get lucky. Yeah. But that's a wrap for Granby, my first ever performance here at a PRS match and uh you know I think I shot pretty average so which makes sense for the name of this channel average shot all right so we're out of here driving home be safe we'll see you guys on the next video